The Chiefs run out onto FMG Stadium Waikato for the final time in Super Rugby. Aotearoa still searching for that opening win of their season. And as the competition has gone throughout, there is no easy game in Super Rugby Aotearoa. And with that, we look at their visitors. The Crusaders coming off their first loss of the year, coming to Waikato looking for a backlash. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and our opening match of Super Rugby Aotearoa round number 8. It's the Chiefs versus the Crusaders and we're finally hitting it up on Rugby Challenge 4. Let's have a look at the two lineups for tonight's matchup and starting off in the front row will be for the Chiefs Ruben O'Neill alongside Bradley Slater and Nipo Laulala. Up against them on the Crusaders is George Bauer, Cody Taylor and Michael Ala Ala Toa. Moving into that second row battle, and it'll be Tupu Va'ai who will be upside Sam Whitelock and Mitchell Brown coming up against Mitchell Dunshay in the number five jumper. Moving into that back row, and it'll again be Lachlan Boucher, Sam Kane, and Peter Gus Sawakula for the Chiefs. Up against them, Sione Havili, Tom Christie, and Tom Sanders wearing the number eight jumper in the place of Fetu Douglas. Moving out of the forwards, now and into the back line. The number nines is an epic battle looking forward. It's Brad Weber for the Chiefs and Mitchell Drummond wearing the nine for the Crusaders. The number 10 battle is another one worth looking out for. Aaron Cruden lining up for his 100th cap up against Richie Mawanga wearing 10 for the Crusaders. Into midfield, it'll be Alex Nankerville and Anton Lena Brown up against Jack Goodhue and Fatuli Payer for the Crusaders. On the left wing, Sean Wainui will line up against George Bridge. On the right hand side, Sean Stevenson and Sibu Reese. And the battle at fullback is sure to be exciting. Damian McKenzie up against Will Jordan. Look at the two teams on the bench. Plenty of experience here for both sides. In the front row replacement, Samasoni Takiaho remains as a replacement hooker. But we finally say welcome back to Angus Tarbell, who will wear 18 tonight for the Chiefs. And plenty of expansive players in there. Quinta Pyre, another one who is ready to come on and explode at any given chance. For the Crusaders, it is all experience and all excitement as well. We say welcome back to Billy Harmon, who's missed the last few weeks through injury. Britton Hall there as well, another one who can change the game. And of course, at 23, Lester Fayanuku is one to watch out for as this game wears down. Let's get down to the action of Chiefs at home, taking on the Crusaders in round eight of Super Rugby Aotearoa. And with the new game, it is a new view as well to rock out in Rugby Challenge 4. You've all asked for it. So today, we'll be playing side-on camera TV view. As underway we go, Crusaders in the away strips of the white and grey. And a high tackle very early on by Will Jordan in a yellow card. Seemingly coming from the referee here in the pocket. He goes, and it's a card to Will Jordan. Yellow card straight off the whistle. And the Crusaders are a man down. Well, the game just kicked off, and straight away, just like that, the visitors are a man down, and Aaron Cruden leads his team from the front, kicking for touch, and looking to set the home side with their opening attack of the matchup. Bradley Slater will throw, and it's a very split line out here. He goes to the back, and it's stolen from Dunshay, and the Crusaders will get first use of the football here, sending it up. Havili out to Paya and a beautiful ball. George Bridge got him on his shoulder. Kicks ahead for Jack Gordio, running and leading the charge. Gordio will open the scoring. Will he though? Brad Weber underneath and potentially has saved the only try going against the Chiefs. What an exciting play though, right off the whistle. Havili went to Fatuli Paya. Beautiful ball to George Bridge. Spread the defence in half. Had his man on his shoulder. Kicked ahead for the chase of Bridge. The chase was beautiful. As we watch the effort to the running line from George Bridge. He was the one that started it all off. But it was the chase from Goodhue who doubled around. Certainly onside. Led the chase beautifully against his Chiefs opposites. Took the kick and then wrapped up. Beautifully from Brad Weber at the back, showing all his pace and experience, Weber, to get back there. Look at him. He was leading the charge. Not fast enough to beat Goodhue to the ball. There he is. Good enough. There we go. Takes the ball. Not the player. Wrapped it up and denies the Crusaders the opening try. 
Well, 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 what Frogs. an explosive start Fine. here. A yellow card for Will Jordan, and now Six. a denied try from Jack Goodkins. Drummond will feed the scrum. They are still just five metres out. And Tom Sanders has it at his feet. Drummond has the players set into motion. Drummond goes to Sebu Reeks, who's beautifully in position, and they find it out wide, and the first try of the game will go to Jack Goodhue on the outside channels. Exceptional start by the Crusaders. Sebu Reeks, the first receiver, and big passes through the back line gives the Crusaders the opening try. Well, you see Goodhue there. He was off like a flash. Sebu Reeks took first receiver. They switched rings beautifully. There's Payer in midfield. He fired a perfect ball out wide, and Jack Goodhue, denied the first time, takes toll the second. Well, they took their time here, the Crusaders. The referee allowed them to set themselves in attack. They changed their lines, they changed positions, and the Chiefs could not get themselves organized. McKenzie was desperately trying to get across, but they could not stop Jack Goodhue, who attempted once on the left corner from the kicker bridge. Now he switches to the right, and either way you look at Goodhue, scores the only try, while the Crusaders are a man down. The conversion, very good, from Richie Moanga. Another two to the scoreboard, and it is 7-0, Crusaders. Whilst the man down, it's Cody Taylor who's coming back from the bin. So Will Jordan, I thought, was the one off, but he was the one as captain. Took over from Cody Taylor, who was sent to the bin. Well, there you go. A big change in the leadership roles there. As we get back underway, Chiefs kicking off and it's down to Seven Reeks who loses a couple of metres in the tackle. Good chase from the Chiefs. Drummond goes back to Moanga who kicks in towards the centre of the park and, and a ball to lose. Damien McKenzie who comes across and oh, is hit with a hard tackle. Wainui in support. Takes it down for the Chiefs right on halfway. Now, first use for the Sheiks really have a couple of phases as Weber finds it. And Mitch Brown does nicely. Here's another pick and go. Well, brilliantly from Weber. And straight through the middle will go Damien McKenzie. He's far too quick. No chance for Richie Moanga. And Damien McKenzie will score the reply for the Sheiks. Well, that was a perfect line by the fullback. Aaron Cruden took the ball in after a good carry from Mitch Brown and then Weber took out Goodhue, a bullet of a pass to a rampaging McKenzie. And he is far too quick. If you give him any space, he is gone. An exceptional line from the fullback and a beautiful pass too from Brad Weber. Was it put forward? Referee calls it flat. Richie Moanga leading the charge back in defence. But no one was stopping. Damien McKenzie, first try for the Chiefs. And they are back in this game. A couple of good hit-ups too. And the bird up to that try. Here is McKenzie. Floats it between the uprights. It's successful kick a goal. And we are all tied up at seven points apiece. Chiefs fight back after Jack Goodhue's early try to tie it all up. Back to halfway for Moanga and his crew, and he gets the resumption of play underway, and a great take! Charging forward, the Chiefs. They lose the ball, though. Drummond has it, and they quickly look out wide for Bridge. Back inside to Payer. And Fatuli Payer has touched the ball a lot already tonight. Here's a pick and go, and they find it out to Sebi Reese. They look forward and forward, and it's called. Sebi Reese and Jack Goodhue finding plenty of space out wide. Crouch. That there was another chance for Find. them on the right hand edge. Set. It will result in a Chiefs scrum. Waits for it at the back. The Crusaders! They charge in with the late hits to turn the ball over. Now Drummond organizes defense again. The attack coming. This time Moanga for a receiver. Payer out wide to Bridge. Bridge with one to be. Bridge goes past Stevenson. And Bridge will go away. Second try. George Bridge will score it. Set play by the Crusaders. One on one. Stevenson and Bridge. Not good enough by the Chiefs defense out on the right wing. 
George Bridge showing he can attack just as well as defend. Moanga to Paya, he was the last pass once again, showed him the inside outside move and too much pace to cover across. George Bridge scores, try number two, the Crusaders take back the lead. And it all comes from a turned over scrum as well, which will be even more disappointing for the Chiefs. And that one-on-one -on -one tackle that just must be made by the defense, too slippery. George Bridge, once again, he has been very, very impactful tonight. And uh, Crusaders extend that lead. Now, that was lost earlier, back to five. And here is Richie Moanga. Another good kick from the Crusaders fly half. And the lead is out to now seven points. And much through for the Chiefs to get back into this game. Aaron Cruden. Back on the way he goes. A short kick. Beautifully taken, Brad Weber. The Chiefs get the ball straight back as we make our way to the half of our mark. Nankable. Short and beautiful ball for Aaron Cruden. Where's the support? It is there, but the defense comes across very nicely for the Crusaders. Just outside the 22 now. Weber. Pick and go from him again. He can find room out wide. Sean Stevenson beats him out on the outside. And this time it's revenge. Served cold from Sean Stevenson. Outside of George Bridge he goes. And another try back for the Chiefs. Well, Brad Weber is causing all sorts of trouble for the Crusaders defence. Watch how many defenders he pulls in. He creates all the space needed out wide for Sean Stevenson to show that acceleration and that top end speed to get past George Bridge again. Well, those two are having a real battle out there on the right hand side, aren't they? Bridge got the last try. Stevenson not to be outdone. Fires one back for the Chiefs. Big try, big moments. And maybe another twisting turning point in this matchup. Damian McKenzie. Out on the right hand side to tie it all up again. It's a big kick. It's a successful kick as well. McKenzie adds two more. Now we're all tied up again. 14 all. The Chiefs not letting go of the Crusaders just yet. Well, there's some gaping holes in both sides' defences. After 35 minutes, we're all tied up with two converted tries apiece. That's a nice take from Ruben O'Neill. Running forward to take the kickoff down. Weber, pick and go from him. Oh, good tackle from Sibir Rex, but they keep it alive through the midfield now. Nankable on the outside channels is Cruden. He kicks ahead, looking for the corner, putting the Crusaders down. That's a very good kick from Aaron Cruden. Anton Leonard Brown gives him the nod of approval to the senior statesman running the show on the number 10. Cody Taylor with the throw. Just outside their own 22. It's just taken from Dunshane. Very good take from him. Now here's a run away from Ali Alatoa. Oh, my one with a great pass in this beautiful hands at the moment. As it is, the legend in this oh, beautiful backline play from the Crusaders. Eventually kicking away from Will Jordan. And look at Sam Wylock ranging upfield. 150 caps, it's no matter. He's still giving all the energy to this Crusaders side. Has the ball, dribbles over the sidelines and sends the two teams to half time with a scoreline locked up at 14 points apiece. It is the Chiefs, though, who should be wishing they got more out of that first half. They've had a good portion of the possession and a good chunk of the territory as well. The Crusaders working hard on defence, but as we know what the Crusaders do, they take their chances. At 14 points each, this game is far from over. Aaron Cruden will get us back underway for the home team. Still in this matchup versus the Crusaders. It's a great take from Mitchell Dunshane yet again. And a turnover from the Chiefs. Mitchell Brown out to Sam Kane. Big chance for Wainui to four pass. On the sidelines. Sean Wainui forcing the issue there just a little bit. Find. Well, that could have been a killer play for the Chiefs if they could have Six. taken the lead against the Crusaders. It would have been a game-changing moment there. Drummond feeds. 
And it's a solid scrum. A steady scrum. Forward. This is an exciting sadness. Hands it at the feet and scrum it. Now, guess the team flowing in motion. Payer again, out wide for Bridge. George Bridge, one to beat. It's that man Stevenson again. This time, Sean Stevenson makes the tackle. Drummond goes quickly. El Alatoa changes directions. Oh, back to a big hit there on. That looks like for Tony Payer. This time, coming in to do some hard work near the ruck. Here is Drummond. Numbers on the outside. They get it to Bridge, and they do. George Bridge down the left hand wing. Shows the dummy. Gets past McKenzie. And George Bridge will score a fantastic double. No much on. Down the left wing. And somehow, George Bridge makes them pay. He is so elusive, so dangerous, and so fast. It was great hands here. Will Jordan up from fullback, and he set George Bridge free. Beats McKenzie on the dummy, and then just enough pace to get away from the electric Brad Weber. This was a brilliant try, and it's exactly what the Crusaders bring to the party. Pace, often power, but this time a little bit of finesse and a little bit of skill down that left-hand edge. They take that lead back yet again. And at a crucial time to do it as well, as we make our way into the final half an hour, here's Richie Moanga. Great kick from Moanga as well. Flawless from the two goal kickers tonight. Third successful kick for Richie Moanga. Aaron Cruden now faced with a little deficit. Seven points behind as we get underway. Yet again, and Cody Taylor fires a forward pass. As the Crusaders look to launch an attack straight Crouch. off the kickoff. They've given away Bind. a scrum to the Chiefs. Set. Brad Weber has been in fine touch tonight. A very good scrum. Just like that. Bulldozing from the Chiefs. Here's Cruden. Into midfield it goes. Nice and rare time in the ground. Finding Damien McKenzie up from fullback. Quickly recycled ball. Brad Weber slow to get to the breakdown. A pick and go again from Weber. He's hit hard. Put down in a flurry. And the Chiefs, no one at home to help out. Cody Taylor goes backwards, but possession is with the Crusaders, and that means danger. A pick and go from Drummond, a beautiful ball to Moanga. He hits the line hard and sets up on the 22. And another turnover, back to the Chiefs. Weber goes inside, and it's a charging run that time from Boucher. On another turnover, to and fro at the moment, neither side able to hang on to the ball. Charging through this time is Tom Christie, outside the 22. A couple of consecutive possessions of Seve Reese finds room outside. Reese gets away from Wainui, but McKenzie puts him into touch. Very good defense this time from Damien McKenzie at the back, but just how elusive is Seve Reese when he gets going. Bradley Slater to throw. 20 minutes to play. Turnover done, Shea. Now the Crusaders attack again. And to midfield of Jack Goodhue. Plenty of grass for him to run on. Finds it out to George Bridge. Bridge is dangerous and why not? He's oh, no, it's Stevenson. Just takes him down in the nick of time. Sean Stevenson and George Bridge. What a battle that has been tonight. This time it is Stevenson who picks up the W. And the Chiefs get the line out. They go into the middle. Good take from Mitchell Brown. And they maul. Upfield they go, the Chiefs. This is a good area of their game. Taking toll of some poor Crusaders defense. Here's a big ball out wide from Laulala. And Wainui trying to get away from Sebu Reese. Reese gets up. Reese competes in the breakdown. Big turnover for the Crusaders. And Wylock runs a little bit sideways. Played the whistle. Is the call. The referee lets the play go on. Drummond gets there in the nick of time. Goes near side here to Goodhue, who kicks away. That's a very good kick away from McKenzie. Oh, bouncing end on end towards the corner flag. Just in the nick of time, saved by Wainui. And the Chiefs have lost the ball. Short side play and into touch defensively. Very strong there on Tom Sanders. Thought he could have got the glory moments in the corner. The Crusaders leading by only the seven points as we enter the final 10 minutes. Here is Slater. Oh, stolen from Whitelock. And the Crusaders will maul it upfield. They go inside the five. Big chance to put this one to bed. 
Up into midfield. Bridge. Nice. See how wide. Finding it from Goodhue. Here's a ball inside for Tony Power. Magical, magical work from Goodhue and Bridge. And for Tony Power. Goes straight through the middle. Well, when you've had such a dangerous combination of good Hugh and Bridge tonight by the Crusaders, you've got to give them attention. One man they forgot about was Fatuli Payer. There's good Hugh. Bridge took out the wide defence and Payer slipped back inside and got the well-deserved try and puts this one surely to bed for the Chiefs. Looks to be no coming back. The Crusaders should have it wrapped up now. A two-try advantage. The conversion goes over. It's a 14-point lead. And that will be surely too much to come back from now. The Crusaders in charge, in control. And Richie Moanga with a vital two points. Pretty much right in front of the uprights. And he makes no mistake about it. Six minutes to play. And it is a 14-point game. 28-14 to score. The Crusaders coming home strong. As they always do. They were too hard to stop from that line out ball. And of course, some great interplay. Jack Goodhue's been fantastic. As has George Bridge as well. You see one final twist here. Can the Chiefs fight their way back with time certainly against them? Or will it be more Crusader domination? No. This time it's a forward pass yet again. The referee very strict on that rolling. As they Find. try to get a bit fancy there, the Crusaders. Set. Three minutes to play. <laughs> Will it be enough here for the Chiefs to get in quickly to find a restart? Bradley defeats the scrum. And then he got sword forward. Hardly talked about him tonight. Weber into midfield. And it's a nice floated ball. Out to getting in short. Stevenson! Oh, he's beaten Bridge! And Stevenson will finish with a flurry! That battle has been monumental, but Sean Stevenson will get the final say. A brilliant final try on the right wing, but it will not be enough for the Chiefs. Alex Nankable, brilliant pass from him to find Stevenson, and then the step on the inside, too hard to handle for George Bridge, and then the power was the rest of the game. We finally seen the beautiful work of Sean Stevenson off the right foot. Pivots beautifully, powers through the tackle, shows the acceleration and beats them all into the corner. Brilliant Chiefs try. And that is what he brings this game. Well, it's a little bit of a shame they fell asleep through that middle period of the second half, the Chiefs, because this could have been a tight one. But it will finish up with a win to the Crusaders as Damien McKenzie puts over the final two and will win the Chiefs that valuable bonus point. But it will be not be enough for a home win in Super Rugby Aotearoa. Full time goes and the Chiefs fall agonisingly short yet again. 28-21 the full time score and handshakes all around. The Crusaders know they are in a battle but they yet again have done enough to bounce back from a loss and to pick up yet another win in this Super Rugby Aotearoa season. Four tries to three, Stevenson and Bridge both picking up two each. But for the Chiefs, it was only a try to Damien McKenzie and his three conversions that resulted in the other points. Jack Goodhue and Fatuli Paya picked up a try apiece in the four for the Crusaders. Richie Mawanga hitting four out of four from the tee as well. Full-time stats, the Chiefs really did dominate this game. Possession and territory on their side. They just could not turn that into points on the board to topple the Crusaders. They worked hard in defense. They even had 10 minutes with a man advantage, but they could not turn that into a winning formula. That does to us for the opening game of round eight in Super Rugby Aotearoa. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching, and I hope you enjoyed tonight's matchup. Did you like the side view? Do you prefer the end-on view of these matches? Let me know in the comment section below what you prefer to see in future. I just thought, new game, a new view, something a little bit different to get you guys see how this game plays in other views as well. I'll be here with plenty more rugby coming from Super Rugby Aotearoa as well, so don't go anywhere. Hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the little fight back from the Chiefs, but not enough to beat the mighty Crusaders. Until next time though, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.